again to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, you're definitely welcome. My name is CB. I'm a fashion and style influencer slash blogger. All right, so my channel focuses on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content. If this is your area of interest, please can you stay tuned and be sure to click the subscribe button. All right, and uh, click the notification bell also to stay connected with my content. All right, so okay. For today's so video, I'm going to be sharing with you five quotes that you need in this season in your closet you all know um you know always try to hook you up with things that um you know will save you a lot of money a lot of stress and all that and i could decide to come up with a list of say 12 or 20 quotes that you get but you know what i've streamlined everything down to five essential quotes that you can need in this season that you need in this season pardon me that would allow you to stay super stylish without having to you know break the bank so if you'd like to know the five quotes and um, that made my cut please kindly stay tuned and please kindly keep on watching these five quotes that i have on my list i looked into different things from the durability the functionality the wearable the wearability and all that so i looked into all this for all these um functions and all these features okay to put together the quotes that i think you really need in this season that once you have them all right you're going to remain stay super stylish in your ootds and all that now i'm not saying you should go out and buy all these um, you know coats and all that but Definitely, it's just a guide for you if you're bringing, if you're looking into coming um, up with your own coat um, collections. All right, this these are the basic things that I think you can actually look into. All right, and um, you know, guide you to get purchasing your own, you know, starting your own um, coat collections. All right, if you know what I mean. So now, basically, I'm going to start with the first one, which is the straight black coat okay the first thing you need to do if you're someone that is looking into getting coats for the first time a straight black one is the most essential one in your wardrobe however in this video i'm going to be featuring this one this isn't exactly a pure black of course it had some uh, plain print to it some plain attitude to it but then if you're someone that does not have a black coat I'm not going to suggest you go for something like this. I would suggest you go for a plain black one that would, you know, be much more suitable for you to style in different ways for your outfit. Okay, so you see, a black coat goes with every, every, everything in your closet. All right, trust me, with a black coat, this I, I love. I really love this, but I would advise, like I said, if you do not have a black coat go for a pure black one but if you do you can do something like this this has a little bit of plate print to it as you can see okay this is not a proper styling video i'm just going to be showing you the kind of effect that it has okay so you can see this goes with everything and apart from that the texture all right it's a black coat and it's also made from wool okay it's definitely going to keep you super warm super super um you know stylish at the same time so look into the quality if you are looking at if you are looking if you're living in a place that is extremely cold you need to look into the quality and the fabric of your coat it has to be something that is you know made from wool or a, a, a fabric that will definitely keep you super warm it could even be a teddy coat all right or no i advise you get your black coat not in a teddy texture not in a teddy fabric definitely a wool fabric that will keep you super warm all day all night and you know the good thing about it is that whichever country you're traveling to they are easy to you know travel with and they just keep you super warm so a black coat is definitely the first on the list on the list the first on the list for me now, when it comes to coats the second right, coat that i so. think is essential in your wardrobe it has to be a pop of color if, especially if you're someone that likes colors if you're someone that is a minimalist that you not wear colors no problem Okay, but if you're someone that likes colors, you need a pop of color, girl. You need, really need a pop of color in your wardrobe. Okay, so for example, you can get, I'm going to be featuring, of course, my red coat. Okay, this is my own pop of color in my capsule wardrobe. All right, you can definitely do a blue, do a yellow, do any pop of color that you think is, you know, best for you. Maybe it will keep you super stylish in a day where you have to pop your outfit out in, in colors. Definitely, you need you need a colored 
coat, okay, a pop of color. And not do not just look into the pop of color, also look at, is it wearable, is it durable? I've had this for so many years. If you follow me on my Instagram, if you check me out on Instagram, ask me five girl. I've been wearing this coat for too many years now, okay, and they're still, you know, really, because of course you need to look into the texture of the fabric, the quality of the fabric, how long is it going to stay with you in your wardrobe and all of that. So this I'm definitely advising you need a pop of color. It doesn't have to be red, it can be any color of your own choice. But I'm just using this as my own example. I'm going to put it on for you to see. This is a nude and black fit that I have on. So I'm going to try to pop it up, of course, with my red coat. And then you can see the effect of what this, you know, brings to my outfit. As you can see, as you can see, I can definitely just layer them together like so, okay? Or even just pop on my shoulder, depending on your, if you're living in a place that is extremely cold, you need sometimes if not two to three layered outfit together to keep yourself super warm all right so you definitely need a pop of color you definitely need a pop of color when it comes to coats so definitely my number two coats advising you to get it's a quality a good quality coat with a pop of color to keep you super stylish Another essential in your wardrobe coat. okay essential you know coat that i think you should get is also um a coat Definitely, I advise a straight coat. It could be straight, it could be an A line, it could be any type of coat. But when it comes to color, you need a brown coat, especially in those of you that live in an extremely cold place. And you, most of you that get that have the teddy coat, usually comes in brown. Okay, so this is my own pop of brown. Okay, for but I'm, I do not, I'm not going to be using a teddy coat because I do not live in an extremely cold um country all right so but if you do you should get yours in more in a thicker 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 texture all right so for me this is the brown coat that made the cut it's definitely essential for you to have a brown coat so you're looking at we already talked about the black we talked about a pop of color you need a brown these are colors that you can wear all year round even if Anytime you want to put it on, they suit just about anything. If you are wondering different ways for you to style this coat, I did a lookbook on particularly this brown coat. You can check so many styles I created with this coat. There, you need a brown coat in your clothing. You need to see, uh, can you see how blended it is with the cotton um, jacket that I have on? So you see, it's super, super, super essential. All right, so these are the, apart from the color, Okay, you also need a coat. You also need a coat that, you know, you can see what it looks see. like. You can see. Okay, so I can decide to button this up. And um, yeah, have it on like this. Okay, so it's really, really essential. A brown coat is really essential. When it comes to the texture, you can do any texture depending on your location or how cold um, the country that you live in. Okay, but I have my home coat based on my location. All right, you can definitely go for different other textures. Super good, right? Okay, so for example, I'm popping it out like this. See? And you see, so what do you guys think? So I definitely, you should get a brown coat. Really, really essential for your wardrobe. Okay? So guys. So the next one that made the list is definitely a dress coat. You should de definitely get a coat that you can style as a dress. That would you know give you another vibe it's easy for transitioning and definitely i'll be advising you, you advising you to get it in another color other than a pop of color other than uh, black other than brown so definitely i'm advising a gray that's a color that also suits all your outfits super stylish you don't have to 
just put a gray on it. Anything you're wearing, just put on a gray, you know, coat. All right, so definitely this made my coat, this my gray coat actually, you know, made my coat. All right, so this is what I mean by a dress coat, okay? You can actually style and restyle them in different ways. In different ways, okay? So, you can, you can see what it looks like. You can see what it looks like. So, definitely check. This made my cut. You can put on a belt with it if you want. You know, I love how warm it makes me feel because, I've, of course, I've layered it with two other things, okay? Two other outfits, the blazer and the black um, tortilla that I have on. So, it's perfect for layering. Makes you look super stylish. Definitely do a dress code, you know? And, of course, in gray. Now, okay? Drum roll, please. The last part. Right, so, the last but not the least of... Um, um color that made my list okay it's definitely the tortilla or the light brown or the cotton brown whichever one you want to call it coat all right and that's what i have it on, on right now this is definitely not a coat but it's a it's a, it's a an oversized blazer it's also essential as you can see i've been able to use you know used it to transition all the colors of the other coats I talked about. It's essential for you to have something in this color. It's called the Tortilla Brown. It's essential for you to have a blazer or a coat or a jacket, what have, what have you, in this color. It's perfect for everything. It stands you out. It stands you out. I feel like after black and white, in fact, even before white, I, I feel like I would say this color is more essential. Like really, because we do not do white all the time. We do black most times, but after black, I feel like this is the next color before even brown, okay? It's really essential. As you can see, I have it on already, and I've used it to transition with all transition. It's really a jacket that you, can, you should have in this season. Something in this color is very essential. Do not, you know, do not even joke with it, okay? So, as you can see, all right, so this isn't a code, but I definitely think you need something in this color, all right? Perfect. Most, most especially, especially get in a blazer to transition your other coats. If not, you can also get it in a coat also. Okay, so definitely those are the top five colors, all right, of coats that I think you should have in terms of stylishness, in terms of durability, in terms of variability, in terms of... All right, so thank you for joining me and thank you for watching please remember to thumbs up my video like comment share and subscribe to my channel subscribe subscribe join the family all right so i really appreciate you all please check me out on my instagram at semifab girl where i post on uh, um, daily inspiration outfit all right so please 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 remember to subscribe join the family see you in my next video stay safe as, as always love you all bye